Good morning. John Gelfison here, Aerostealth. And today is Monday, August 21st, 2023. And I wanted to do, uh, hopefully, a short video on some conversions I've done on the mass of electricity versus, uh, of course, the mass of gasoline relative to electric vehicles and internal combustion vehicles. And the title of uh, this blog, which I'm going to write, is One gram of electrolyne equals 75,000 gallons of gasoline. Um, electrolyne is a pet term I use for the electricity that goes into my electric vehicle. Um, <coughs> the Chevrolet Bolt holds just short of two gallons of gasoline equivalent in energy in the battery, so I just call it electrolyte. Um, <clears throat> anyway, using uh, Einstein's formula, E equals mc squared, uh, 37.4 kilowatt hours of energy, which is the amount of energy there is in a gallon equivalent of gasoline when you include the charging losses, which is basically 90% charging efficiency. So 33.7 kilowatt hours divided by 0.9 gives you 37.4, and that's the amount of energy it takes to put a gallon in your electric vehicle. And using the formula E equals mc squared, uh, that's equivalent to 175 thousandths of a gram in mass for that energy. One gallon of gasoline weighs 6.3 pounds and has 33.7 kilowatt hours of energy. And I've already explained the charging efficiency. So if all of this is true, and it is, the inverse of this math is also true. In other words, one gallon of E, if one gallon E, weighs one seventy-five thousandths of a gram. Then one gram of electrolyte equals seventy-five thousand gallons of gasoline. And I came up with a visual on this. Now this is not to scale. Really this tank should be 24 feet in diameter and 24 feet tall. And here you have um, a, a man, silhouette of a man right beside it for scale. And down below, I list the fact that uh, uh, the height and weight of the, the height and the, and the width, excuse me, of the uh, tank that'll hold 75,000 gallons of fuel or any liquid. So there you have it. Uh, this man in there for scale kind of gives you a pretty good idea. Now, the best thing I could do for one gram, um, I could have bought a weight set on Amazon or something like that, but I found a couple um, pills around the house. These are vitamins. And it took two of them to weigh one gram. Uh, my scale's not that accurate. As a matter of fact, in order to, be, to get it to read anything at all, I had to put four of these pills on there and it read two grams. So I figured two was close enough. Well, anyway, this is good enough for government work. So there you have it. There's the there's the mass equivalent of 75,000 gallons of um, gasoline in electrolyte form in mass, not the thing itself. Now, I think the most important thing about this whole metric is that uh, for this reason, electricity is much easier to transport around than gasoline is. To, to send a <clears throat> One seventy-five thousandths of a gram of electricity 
uh, over the uh, power lines and into your garage and into your car to give you over 100 miles of range in your electric vehicle. It's uh, relatively easy. It doesn't take a lot of energy to do that, but to, but to transport, uh, well, let's say you want to transport 75,000 gallons of crude oil or gasoline around the planet, you know, in tankers and uh, tank cars on railroads uh, and pipelines and tank cars on semi-trucks. And then you got to get it to a gas station, and then you got to pump it in the ground there, pump it here, pump it there, refine it. The amount of energy that's required is vast. Uh, it's it's at least three times the amount of energy that's in the fuel itself. And so here you have something, <laughs> the amount of energy to transport it around. Uh, that's the equivalent of 75,000 gallons of gasoline right there. The amount of energy to transport it around is extremely low. It's negligible in comparison. So that's the whole point of this video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. Fun stuff. Uh, 75,000 gallons of gasoline. 75,000 gallons of electricity. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.